Just what is the ACFS? Well, to the users, and to a large extent to your system administrators, it's just another file system. Available on all the major platforms, you create your file systems, you mount them and use them, as you would a file system created on any other device. It does, however, have some very nice facilities that you won't get on many third-party file systems. Or perhaps you can get them, but you have to pay quite a lot for them. It's clusterable, it has a snapshot capability, it can do replication, and perhaps best of all, it can do transparent data encryption. And I'm going to go through all these capabilities in a series of short tutorials. The core functionality of ACFS is just as a file store. You can use it to store any and all of your file types. Oracle databases, for which it is now the default storage with ODA. Third-party databases, MySQL for instance, particularly useful perhaps if you want to use the snapshot capability for hot backups. And of course, any static files, put all your word processing documents on it, all your spreadsheets. Use it perhaps to store the HTML documents that you serve out through your Apache web server. And in a more sophisticated environment, ACFS can replace many existing services. It can replace all your file servers. It underpins the highly available NFS capability. It can replace your third-party clustered file systems, for which you will be paying a lot of money, such as IBM's GPFS or Veritas. And never forget the capability to do the transparent encryption, the replication to remote sites, and to take snapshots is all there at no extra charge.